everyone, buckle up, because today we're diving deep into a world where AI is cracking the code of life itself. Genomics, you know, DNA, genes, all that good stuff. And trust me, things are about to get seriously mind-blowing. Oh, absolutely. So, get this. We're talking about an AI that can diagnose diseases way before any symptoms even show up. Personalize your treatment based on your unique genetic makeup, and maybe even predict future health risks. Sound like sci-fi. It kind of does, but it's closer to reality than you might think. You're telling me. <laughs> and the star of the show is this revolutionary AI called Evo2. Evo2, that's the one. It's developed by NVIDIA and the ARC Institute. And we're breaking it all down today based on this fascinating article from the journals. Get ready for the inside scoop, folks. Yeah, you're going to want to hear this. What's really fascinating about Evo2 is the sheer scale of data it's been trained on. We're talking at a mind-boggling 9 trillion nucleotides. To put that into perspective, imagine taking all the DNA in your body, stretching it to the sun and back over 60 times. Whoa, hold on a sec. Nine trillion. I'm getting flashbacks to high school biology, and to be honest, I'm a little lost. Uh huh. No worries, it's a massive number. Think of it this way. Nucleotides are like the letters that make up the language of DNA. Evo 2 has basically learned to read and understand that language, but on a scale we've never seen before. Okay, I'm starting to see the picture. So Evo 2 is like fluent in DNA, but what can it actually D-O with all this knowledge? Well, for starters, it can act as a disease detective, you know? It can pinpoint the specific genes responsible for certain diseases. Wait, so you're saying we could get a diagnosis years before traditional methods even catch a whiff? That's the idea. Early intervention. Maybe even preventing the disease altogether. That would be a game changer. Seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. And it goes beyond just spotting those disease-causing genes. Evo2 can also predict the 3D structure of proteins, which is pretty amazing. Okay, remind me why protein structures are so important. Right, so proteins are like the tiny machines that make our cells work. Responsible for everything from building tissues to fighting off infections. Knowing their 3D structure is like having a blueprint. It shows us exactly how they function and where we might be able to target them with drugs or therapies. So Evo2 could revolutionize drug development too. Absolutely. Imagine cutting drug discovery timelines in half, or even more. Evo2 can sift through mountains of data and pinpoint promising drug targets. We could see breakthroughs in the fight against cancer, Alzheimer's, and so many other diseases. This is incredible. It sounds like personalized medicine is about to become a reality. You got it. Your doctor could look at your unique genetic makeup and say, Okay, based on your DNA, this is the absolute best treatment for you. This specific dosage will give you the highest chance of success with the lowest risk of side effects. Now that's what I'm talking about. But let's be real, this technology sounds insanely complex. Is Evo2 only accessible to a select few researchers in some top secret lab? Actually, no NVIDIA made Evo2 accessible through its cloud-based platform, BioNemo. It's like they're handing researchers worldwide a set of super high-tech tools to explore the human genome. We're talking about possibilities we never even dreamed of before. So they're democratizing access to this cutting edge AI. You could say that. And that's incredibly exciting because we'll see an explosion of innovation in genomics, more researchers, more minds tapping into the power of Evo2. Okay, my mind is already a little blown, but if I'm being honest, I'm still a bit fuzzy on how Evo2 actually works. The article mentioned something about a transformer-based architecture. Can you break that down for me? Sure. Think of it like Google Translate, but for DNA. This transformer-based architecture allows Evo2 to understand the order of those nucleotides in your genes and how they relate to each other. It's like translating this complex language of DNA into something we can understand. So it's not just looking at individual genes in isolation, it's analyzing the whole symphony of information. Exactly. But it gets even cooler. Evo2 is also capable of self-supervised learning. Self-supervised learning? What's that? It's like Evo2 is teaching itself. It predicts missing pieces of genetic information, kind of like solving a giant genetic puzzle. That's how it develops this deep understanding of how genes interact and how they influence our traits and, of course, how they can contribute to diseases. It's constantly learning and improving its understanding of DNA. That's wild. It really is. And through this process, we're gaining insights into the complexities of life that we could only dream of before. Okay, I'm officially blown away. This is incredible. But before we get too carried away with all the amazing things Evo2 can do, I think it's important to take a step back and consider, you know, while all this talk about AI unlocking the secrets of our DNA is incredibly exciting, I can't help but wonder about, you know, what it means for us as humans, our identity, our potential. 
That's a really interesting point. Evo 2's ability to decode our DNA definitely raises some profound questions mm -hmm. about who we are, what we might become. Absolutely. Evo 2 is clearly a major leap forward, but I'm curious. Is it the only AI making waves in the world of genomics these days? Oh, it's definitely not alone. There's been some really exciting developments. Remember DeepMind's AlphaFold? That was a big one. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Wasn't it a huge deal? It was AlphaFold was incredible. It could predict protein structures with amazing accuracy, something that had stumped scientists for decades. So basically, it showed the world what AI could do in biology. Exactly. And Evo2 builds on that. You know, it pushes the boundaries even further with its massive data set and advanced algorithms. So we're seeing a whole new wave of AI applications in genomics. Absolutely. Researchers are using AI to hunt down new drug targets for cancer, develop vaccines at lightning speed, and even unravel the genetic mysteries behind complex diseases like Alzheimer's. It's like we're witnessing a new era of medicine unfolding right before our eyes. But let's bring it back to Evo2 for a second. What are some concrete examples of how it could change healthcare, like in the near future? Okay, let's take cancer, for example. Yeah. Imagine a patient who's just been diagnosed with a tumor. Evo2 could analyze the tumor's DNA, identify the specific mutations driving its growth. So it's like a super personalized diagnosis, going beyond just the surface to really understand what's causing the disease. Exactly. And with that information, doctors could choose the most effective treatment, tailored to the unique genetic profile of that patient's cancer, maximizing the chances of success and minimizing side effects. Wow, that's incredible. No more one-size-fits-all approach. This is personalized medicine in action. And it goes way beyond just cancer. You know, imagine applying this level of precision to heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune disorders. We could be diagnosing diseases earlier, intervening more effectively, maybe even preventing some altogether. Okay, now I'm getting chills thinking about the possibilities. Could we actually see a future where AI helps us prevent diseases like Alzheimer's? It's definitely not out of the question. Evo 2 can help us pinpoint those genetic factors that might predispose someone to Alzheimer's allowing for early intervention and lifestyle changes to potentially delay or prevent the disease's onset. It's almost like having a glimpse into our genetic futures, isn't it? Giving us the power to take proactive steps to protect our health. It is. But it's also important to remember that genetics isn't destiny. Our genes provide a blueprint, but environmental factors, lifestyle choices, all those things play a role too. So it's not like Evo2 can predict with absolute certainty that someone will develop a certain disease, right? It's more about understanding the risks and empowering people to make informed decisions about their health. Exactly. It's about providing a more detailed map of our genetic landscape so we can navigate our health journey with greater awareness and make choices that support our well-being. I love that. It's not about replacing human judgment or medical expertise. It's about enhancing it, giving doctors and patients more powerful tools to make better decisions together. Yeah, it's like having a co-pilot in the cockpit of our health, helping us navigate the complexities of our genetic code. What a great analogy. As AI technology continues to evolve, this partnership between human ingenuity and artificial intelligence is only going to get more powerful, right? Absolutely. We're just scratching ah. the surface of what's possible. It's incredibly exciting, but I have to admit, it feels a bit overwhelming, too. It's like we're on the cusp of something truly transformative. Where do we go from here? Well, continued research and development is key. We need even larger data sets, mm -hmm. more sophisticated algorithms, even more powerful computing capabilities. So Evo2 is just the beginning. Exactly. Evo2 is a stepping stone to even more advanced AI models that could unlock even deeper insights. It's like we've launched the first rocket into space and now we're aiming for the moon beyond. I like that. And just like the space race, this AI-powered genomics revolution will have ripple effects across many fields. Oh, absolutely. Think about agriculture, for example. AI could help us develop crops that are more resistant to disease, more nutritious, better adapted to changing climates. Right. It's like giving Mother Nature a technological boost. Exactly. And then there's synthetic biology, using AI to design and engineer entirely new biological systems, systems that could help us address some of the world's most pressing problems. Exactly. Like creating new biofuels or bacteria that can clean up pollution. My mind is officially blown. It's a lot to take in, but it's also incredibly inspiring. It feels like we're on the verge of a new era of scientific discovery, where AI empowers us to understand and manipulate the very building blocks of life. And the best part is, you don't need a PhD to be part of this. There's so many resources available online, articles, videos, simulations, online courses, you name it. 
So anyone can dive in and explore these topics. Absolutely. It's never been easier to access information and engage with this field. Curiosity is key. The more people who are curious about AI and genomics, the better equipped we'll be as a society to navigate the future. That's really encouraging to hear. Sometimes science can feel so intimidating. But there are so many ways to explore. Just start with a question. Follow your curiosity. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground today. From Evo 2's groundbreaking capabilities to its potential applications in healthcare, agriculture, and beyond, we even touched on some of the philosophical implications of AI decoding our DNA. And we've only just scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore, so many fascinating questions to ponder. As we wrap up this part of our deep dive, I want to leave our listeners with something to really think about, something that captures the essence of what this AI revolution means for all of us. Okay, here's a thought. If AI can help us unlock the secrets of our DNA, could it also help us unlock the secrets of consciousness itself? Wow, that's a big one. You're asking if AI could help us understand what it truly means to be human. Exactly. Our DNA holds the blueprint for our physical bodies, but it also influences our brains, our personalities, our predispositions. If AI can decipher that code, could it also shed light on the mysteries of the human mind? Now that is something to ponder. You've given our listeners a lot to think about. And hopefully it sparks their curiosity even more. Definitely. These are the kinds of questions that push the boundaries of our understanding and inspire us to keep exploring. That's what it's all about. Wow, that's a big question to ponder. You know, it feels like we've been traveling at warp speed through this world of AI and genomics, exploring these mind-blowing possibilities and grappling with some seriously deep questions. It has been quite a journey, <laughs> and you've been keeping up every step of the way. I'm trying to. So much of what we've discussed feels like it's straight out of science fiction, but it's all happening right now. AI that can decode our DNA. Yeah. And maybe even unlock the secrets of consciousness. I mean, that's next level stuff. It really is. Yeah. And it just goes to show how quickly this field is advancing. What's groundbreaking today might be commonplace tomorrow. It's incredible. It makes you wonder what the world will look like in five or 10 years, you know? With AI continuing to evolve at this pace, what are some of the areas you're most excited to see develop? One area that I'm particularly fascinated by is the intersection of AI and synthetic biology. We touched on it briefly earlier. But imagine using AI to design and engineer entirely new biological systems, organisms with specific functions that could tackle some of humanity's biggest challenges. Like what kind of challenges? Give me some examples. Well, think about climate change. AI could be used to create bacteria that can absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere or break down plastic pollution. Hmm. Or in medicine, we could engineer cells that can target and destroy cancer cells with incredible precision. The possibilities are pretty much limitless. That's incredible. It almost feels like we're talking about playing God. But in a way, aren't we already doing that with genetic engineering? In a sense, yes. But AI takes it to a whole new level. It gives us this ability to analyze and manipulate biological systems with a level of complexity and precision that was unimaginable before. We're talking about designing life at the molecular level. That's both exhilarating and a little bit terrifying, isn't it? It's like we're holding the keys to the kingdom but we need to be incredibly careful with how we use them. You're absolutely right. The power of this technology is immense, and with great power comes great responsibility. We need to proceed thoughtfully, considering the ethical implications and the potential impact these advancements will have on society. So it's not just about the science. It's about having the right conversations as a society and making sure we're developing and using these tools responsibly. Exactly. It's a collective effort. Scientists, policymakers, ethicists, and everyday citizens all of us have a role to play in shaping the future of AI and genomics. Well, I think you've given us a lot to think about. This deep dive has been a whirlwind of information and insights, leaving me both excited and a little bit overwhelmed by the sheer scale of what's possible. I understand. It's a lot to process. But that's the beauty of science, isn't it? It challenges our assumptions and expands our understanding of the world and ourselves. Absolutely. As we wrap up, what's the one thing you'd like our listeners to take away from this conversation? I'd say the most important takeaway is this. The future of AI and genomics, it's not something that's happening to us. It's something we're all actively shaping. Stay curious, engage in the conversation, and be a part of this incredible journey of discovery. Beautifully said. To all our listeners out there, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Into the world of AI and genomics, we hope you've learned something new, sparked your curiosity, and maybe even had your mind blown a few times along the way. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, the future is in our hands.